Craig, thanks very much. New tonight at 10 o'clock is an inspirational story out of Odessa. A maintenance man fulfilled his dream of becoming a teacher at the same school where he was changing light bulbs on campus. CBS 7's Jennifer Samp joins us now in the newsroom with a success story. Jennifer? Gary Dutchover worked as a full-time maintenance man at New Tech High School. All the while, he was a part-time student. It took nearly a decade to earn his bachelor's degree and teaching certificate. But he says he's now living his dream, teaching students to do the same. For the past 15 years, Gary Dutchover spent his time caring for this building. Anything that, I, that needed to be repaired or maintained, I was going to do it. He says he took the responsibilities as a maintenance man to be closer to his dream job. For the longest time, I, I've, I've always wanted to become a teacher. It's been a long road. A long road indeed. His education lasted a decade. By day, Dutchover worked on the high school, and by night, he went to college. My high school days, um, I did not apply myself. It's one of perhaps the, perhaps the biggest regret of my life. But his time spent in the hallways, looking in, Stay right there with him. is now in the classroom. As a maintenance man, I, what I tried to do the most of was to be invisible. Um, and I, I mean that almost literally. And now that has changed. He really teaches us to be more than just another person in the crowd. I think he's cooler because he has a different background. He inspires me because he really comes from kind of the same background as everybody else. Throughout life, there will be obstacles. Uh, there's no way around that. But uh, the worst thing in the world is just to quit. This is Mr. Dutchover's first year as a teacher. We all have something to offer. Remember, it's a wonderful life. It really is. He says he's learned from his past and plans to teach with it as walking proof. And education gives a promising future. With an eye on education, Jennifer Samp, CBS 7 News. Jennifer, thanks very much. New information tonight on the